So I'm looking uh, on the map, it says there's a place called Pugsley Correctional Facility right along this road here. Haven't seen the entrance yet, but anyways, I'm a Christian evangelist driving across America, reaching out to uh, everybody I meet and online. And if I can't talk to you personally, and prisoners, of course, telling about the good news of Jesus Christ, our Savior. And so, I want to reach as many people in prison as well as everybody else. So if you're in prison at Pugsley and uh, you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as Savior, I invite you to make that decision today. This looks like the uh, property right here, Department of Corrections. I invite you to uh, confess your sins and become a Christian today. Wow, this is, what is this, maximum? That's a serious looking prison. Whatever you did, some of you may have been falsely accused, but for the most part, you assume you're in there for the right reason. But there's good news, you can be saved. Is that a, it doesn't look very busy, is it, is it off? Is it brand new or something? Well, maybe not. I don't know what's going on there. But anyways, if you're there in prison, uh, we're praying for you and letting you know that you can still be saved by Jesus Christ, our Savior, even if that doesn't mean you're going to be able to get out of prison. You'll be in heaven. You can still go to heaven no matter how bad, whatever bad thing you did. You can be forgiven if you sincerely repent, if you're sincerely sorry for what you did. So just, you can begin by saying, I'm sorry, Jesus, for my sins. Thank you for dying to save me. I welcome you into my heart and commit my life to you. If you can say that, then I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And you are now a Christian. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God, the body of Christ. You can now be assured going to heaven when you die as long as you keep the faith, keep growing in Christ, keep believing, and start telling the good news. Tell others in prison. You can be an evangelist right there. And also make sure you find the chaplain, and hopefully you have a chaplain who comes and visits and asks for a Bible. Or you can message me. I'll send you a free Bible. If you're allowed to use the uh, internet. And also, um, find fellow, fellow prisoners, inmates, who are also Christian and have fellowship with them. Okay? And uh, if you're already a Christian there at Hugsley Prison, just want to encourage you to keep doing your best. Keep growing. Don't fall away. Don't become lukewarm. Give it all you got right there where you are for Jesus, for the sake of the kingdom and the cross and the power and the glory. And we will be praying for you. God bless you. Read more in the box below in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.